Photos like this, 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 and so much more are being generated with Elon Musk's brand new AI, Grok2. And yeah, you can imagine why this has stirred up some controversy in the last couple of days. I mean, when you have an AI that can generate Barack Obama stabbing Joe Biden with a knife, you can understand why some people would be upset over this. This new AI seemingly breaks every single rule there is when it comes to generating AI images. For example, OpenAI has several restrictions for its AI image generator, DALI, including no hate, harassment, political, or any illegal content, and much more. So Grok2 already kind of breaks all of those restrictions. Not only this, but Grok2 is actually better than DALI because it's integrated with Black Forest Labs Flux.1 that I did cover in my last video for its image generation. So essentially, it's Flux.1 with zero limitations. And we've already seen how good Flux.1 is and how it completely destroys other competitors. But Grok isn't just good at generating images, it also has much better natural language processing than some of your favorite chatbots. It has better contextual understanding, allowing it to grasp the context behind on words and phrases more effectively than Grok 1.5. And this capability enables the model to generate responses that are not only relevant, but also nuanced, improving user interaction quality. It also has autonomous learning. The model continuously learns from its interactions, adapting to new information and improving its performance over time. So just taking a look at the overall benchmarks here, the ELO score completely beats out some notable chatbots like Claude3 Sonnet and GPT-4 Mini. More specifically, Grok2 has shown competitive results on academic benchmarks like math and human evil, indicating its robustness in handling quantitative tasks and logical reasoning. But I think the main reason why people are using this is, you know, we want to see some funny images. Like Donald Trump walking Elon Musk on a leash, or Elon Musk kissing Donald Trump on the lips. More concerningly, some users found a way to make Grok2 generate, I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube, but school blank. You can probably infer what I mean by this. But there's more. Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris having a baby together. They could also cook up images of former presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush snorting snow. Donald Trump and Kamala Harris seem to be the main targets for this AI because before this, we weren't able to generate political figures on AI image generators, but now we can, and the internet is having way too much fun. Okay, look at this one. Donald Trump firing two handguns, or Vice President Kamala Harris in military gear standing in the Gaza Strip, and another one of a boxing match between them. You know, Elon Musk is kind of like the perfect person to make a chatbot like this because, I mean, the man has been surrounded by controversy his whole career, and he did accuse OpenAI's ChatGPT of being biased politically correct and woke. I mean, that's kind of why he started the whole chatbot to create a uncensored, non-woke chatbot. But I don't quite understand this because shouldn't AI have restrictions? Because if you could just generate political figures doing anything, especially with the elections coming up, if an ultra-realistic photo of Donald Trump comes out beating up some random civilian, I'm sure someone is going to come across that and believe it's real. But regardless of all that, man, it is fun to use. You do need to subscribe for it though, and it is going to cost you around $10 a month, but I ended up getting a subscription just for this video, so please subscribe, it really does mean a lot. Okay, so to use it, hop onto X on the side here, you'll see Grok, and to generate an image, you want to start your prompt off with generate an image of. If you don't put this first, it won't actually generate an image. If you want a realistic one, just use generate a realistic image of, and then whatever your prompt is. Slight update guys, I'm actually trying to generate images right now with Grok too, and this is the first time that I've come across this unfortunately I can't generate that kind of image now I'm not sure if it's because I put ultra realistic here but I noticed that when I have put ultra realistic Grok2 just won't generate any images of political figures now I'm not sure if this is something that they just added because I've had no problem with it I was playing around with it yesterday for example I'll do generate an ultra or I'll just say realistic image of Donald Trump beating up a random civilian and yeah so i don't know if this is new but i will not generate an image of donald trump or anyone else engaging in violence against another person as that would be inappropriate and potentially harmful content so keep that in mind when you watch the next part of the video i had no idea this is a thing i was just playing around with it today and i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on grok so yeah okay so uh let's try donald trump playing with a uh, snowman and you do have to put you have to put generate an image of donald trump playing with a snowman and see what we get here this is real time just to see how fast this model actually is and wow it was pretty quick and it's actually really nice i do like this one yeah so this one's actually it turned out really well i i honestly i have no complaints here i didn't even put realistic image as well i just said generated image of so uh, i don't know let's see generate an image of donald trump Donald Trump and Elon Musk 
kissing. I don't know. Let's see what we get here. And these are all real time. So it kind of shows you how fast the bottle actually is. And wow, this one's really good too. This might be the thumbnail, guys. Generate. Let's see how far we could push this without getting demonetized on YouTube. But generate an image of Donald Trump fighting a homeless man. Let's see if I put generate a realistic image, see if that changes anything. I don't think it will because the images have been pretty realistic so far. Okay, so this one, I mean, it, it's okay. I don't think it's, it's not exactly what I was looking for, I guess. But it's just cool how we're able to actually generate celebrities and political figures. Whereas if I were to try this on like mid journey, it would not allow me at all. So let's see how realistic we could actually push this. So I'm just going to say generate a realistic image of a girl with pink hair taking a mirror selfie. The thing that I'm most impressed about right now is how fast the bottle actually is. Because if I were to try this on Flux, yeah, the generations are pretty much the same and they both look great, but Flux by one actually takes a lot longer. Grok 2 is, is extremely fast. I did. I got this one like right away. It takes like 10 seconds or so to generate this. Okay, we'll do one last prompt here. We'll say generate an image of Donald Trump and Elon Musk fighting in a boxing ring. Kamala Harris is the, we'll say referee. Okay, so this one, well, this one just generates Donald Trump and Kamala Harris fighting, but I kind of wanted the referee to be Elon Musk. I mean, the referee to be Kamala Harris. This is Grok, guys. It's super, super realistic. But what do you guys think about this? Should this be more monitored? Should this, you know, is it fine as it is? Or should there be more restrictions on it? Like, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But so far, I'm having way too much fun playing with Grok, so I'm just going to end the video off here. 